Alright, this is my first element, 2005. Let me go over the thing and detail real fast just to give it a little review before I touch anything. Brought it home after trading a 89 Civic Wagon. Like these guys, but Wagon. My EF family. Split it up, traded off the wagon. There's a Wago van, five speed that I traded. Didn't run. Traded an extra engine transmission with it that would make the car run. And well, now I own a element. It runs and drives. These are the current conditions before I touch anything. Looks like I need to put a clamp on this. Got a few things I need to do, obviously. But here's what it is. Looks like she has been through some rough times. There's a few things that are bent in here, but that's okay. I will fix all that. We got a funky situation for trans vent going on but whatever we'll uh, make it all look better in due time in due time but for now here she is in her glory we're gonna get rid of the red change the color not a fan of that myself neither is the lady Let's see we got slight bits of front end damage throughout the whole front core support it looks like that's uh, not too terrible in my book. We got new struts that have been installed at some point. Um, check engine lights on for a rich or lean condition. One of the two. I need to plug the computer into her and scan her. But let's see what it is. Got a cracked windshield. Gonna have to replace that. That's not too big a deal. Um, while the windshield's actually getting replaced, we'll make sure that the seals are all re resealed and any rust repaired that needs to be done. So it's all right that the windshield's cracked because I want to make sure that that shit's not going to leak. We have a foot underneath. I have a really old foot underneath. Too awful much yet. Well, oh no. I don't see a whole ton of rust. We got a little bit of trippy going on. Um, yeah, a little bit of greasy, greasy, greasy stuff here and there, but looks like it uh, had some stop leak in it at one point. So we'll fix all of this. We're going to make it all nice and clean before we start doing anything crazy. Looks like we got quite the rear main leak, possibly, I'm guessing, that is my guess, but other than that, we do have, that is tranny fluid, no good, so we will address this issue, we will make sure we don't lose fluid, um, I see a broken boot on a ball joint. So we're going to do control arms, ball joints, anything that hasn't been replaced, of course. Um, looking at the core support from down here. Actually not too terrible. I've seen worse. Um, looking for rust and stuff. I don't really see a lot of rust, so we're in good shape there. Um... Not sure if we're missing something up here or what, but you know, we'll figure out what's a missing or what's not in due time. Looks like the gas tank bar protector has been bent up. We'll have to bend that back down. Maybe put a little bit of reinforcement on that. Make sure it doesn't get smished again. Um, let's go to the back. Always the middle, I guess. A second. Let's see here. Oh yeah, she got smacked pretty good. We got new sway bar and links. Looks like the bushings to the frame got replaced on that at least. We got 
a new O2 sensor, it looks like. Probably need to get the other one, the blue wired one, the black wire. That one looks fresh. Um, all in all, though, no fucking rust. I'm stoked on that. Definitely stoked. There's not a shit ton of rust in here. I like it. We like it a lot. Back. Let's see here. We got a camber kit. I like that. Although I don't like. That's supposed to be locked against. Damn. So, I had to fix that. I had to fix a few things, but I don't know. It'll be all good. That's cool that it's got a camera kit in here already, though. We can put a lift kit under here. And readjust for proper alignment. Looks like the sway bar is still tight, not loose yet. We'll go ahead and probably replace these end links and the bushings just to prevent it from getting loose. Um... Yeah, all in all, this thing's pretty nice. Oh, we're missing a body plug. Uh, mounts look actually pretty good. I am actually very impressed with how nice this is for what I got it for. That cute little itty bitty axle, but we don't need that. Just chilling. That's supposed to be actually like. Now I your zip tied or something up there, not sitting down. So, yeah, stuff to fix. Let's open her up. We got a few things missing inside. That's okay. worried about that. We got the code thing set in the stereo. It needs that. But this is a 05. It has the auxiliary port for the stock stereo. I like that. Stock subwoofer. I have more woofers. I have more speakers. All kinds of cool stuff for stock stuff like that. The seats. Passenger is alright. Headrests are laying in the back because I was messing around with it. And my driver's seat kind of had. That's okay. She got 169,000 miles on her. Got some nice rubber floor in here. I really like that. Somebody's cut it on a mask. That's okay. I like the seat net jig here. That's kind of kind of nifty. Let's uh oh. Shut the doors properly. Let's open the back. What's what is that? I don't even know what that is. Interesting. I'm being a dork because I'm not used to this rig yet. Oh, that is locked. Let me get the key. <clears throat> There we go. Excuse me for being a noob, but I've got to learn these things. Very nice, the hatch struts are holding. It functions like it should. Yay! I like it. Well. Pretty nice. I can dig it. Get that tire up in there. Not bad, not bad. We like it. We like it a lot. Well, 
That is pretty much it, guys. I ain't really got much else to say about it or review about it. It runs and drives nice. I can say that. Um, I'm stoked to have an automatic for the first time in my life. I'm excited for that, which is weird. So stay tuned and we'll see what becomes of this here creature. But things to fix, things to clean, changing colors and stuff. But all in all, not a bad trade if I do say so myself. I mean, yeah, most people wouldn't think twice about trading a five-speed EF wagon or Wago van, especially for something like this. But I'm all right with it. I got my EF crew and I'll find more wagons. Not every day I find elements in decent shape. That's pretty damn decent for 200 bucks. Well, <clears throat> I'll say, we'll, we'll, we'll say three, 350 at most with uh, fuel and going and getting the wagon and then toting and go get this one, bringing this home on the trailer, the truck and the trailer. Well, I think that pretty well concludes this. We have a pretty well stock 2005 Honda Element, 169,000 rough miles on her. We got things to fix, things to upgrade. Unmolested Honda. We're going to molest the shit out of this thing and make it bitchin'. I'm actually excited to make this ugly thing cool. Stay tuned.